Whittick Manor, a stunning example of arts and crafts architecture, nestled on the edge of Wolverhampton of all places, was built in 1887 for the Mander family, big varnish and paint manufacturers. This Grade 1 listed building is a testament to the craftsmanship and artistic vision of that late 19th century entrepreneurs. Today, Whittick Manor is two years into a meticulous restoration as part of the Big Mend project, which aims to repair and preserve the iconic timber frame, which has weathered over 125 years of exposure to the elements. The restoration has involved removing moss and plant growth, reinstating the lead flashing, and repairing the sills and frames of the oak windows to maintain the structural integrity and aesthetic beauty of the manor. Its exterior facades are adorned with rich decorative elements including bay windows, chimneys, intricate stonework. Each feature reflects the arts and crafts movement's emphasis on handcrafted quality and natural materials. The windows with their stained glass and ornate carvings are particularly striking and the front centre range of stained glass windows are currently being restored. They not only enhance the visual appeal of the manor from the outside but also allow natural light to flood the interiors creating warm and inviting atmosphere. Restoration work also includes repairs and repointing of the chimneys and rainwater goods and even the downpipes are works of art at this house, as well as playing a, a vital role in protecting the building from water damage and helping to keep it upright. The whole project is supported by a generous grant from Arts Council England, alongside contributions of course from the National Trust. And as you explore Whittick Manor, take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship and dedication that went into its creation and preservation. From the timber frame to the intricate details of the windows and walls, every aspect of this historic house tells a story of artistic excellence and cultural heritage. The gardens at Whittick are a splendid extension of the arts and crafts movement, reflecting the same principles of craftsmanship, natural beauty and harmony with the environment that define the manor itself. The gardens were initially laid out by Alfred Parsons, a renowned landscape painter and garden designer, and later Thomas Mawson, a leading figure in the arts and crafts garden design added his touch, particularly with the South Terrace. And the arts and crafts movement, of course, was championed by figures like William Morris, and it emphasised um, traditional craftsmanship, local materials, and a deep connection to nature, principles that are evident throughout the gardens at Whitton. They're divided into rooms by clipped yew hedges and terraces. And this design creates a variety of distinct areas, each with its own character and atmosphere. Close to the house, the gardens are more formal, reflecting the manor itself. And as you move further away, the design becomes more natural and relaxed, embodying the, the ethos of blending with the landscape. Arts and crafts movement revived the love for traditional English plants. It wasn't just about flowers. The orchards here have been restocked with traditional fruit tree varieties including pear, quince, plum, damson, cherry, mulberry, reflecting that arts and crafts emphasis on practicality and self-sufficiency. The gardens are designed to evoke an emotional response, providing a peaceful and inspiring retreat aligning with the arts and crafts philosophy of creating spaces that nourish the soul and celebrate beauty in everyday life. The gardens at Whittick Manor are not just a backdrop for the house, they are integral 
to the arts and crafts narrative, reflecting the movement's values, enhancing the overall experience of this historic site. You might have gathered, we rather enjoyed them.